All right, now we're going to talk a little bit about the log and end logger crate. Um, the log crate is a generic um, logging format uh, provided, uh, logging formatting crate provided by um, a core team who've been with Rust since pretty much the language started. Um, it specializes in uh, very quickly taking log messages and providing a convenient interface to um, spit things out to the log. Now, Envlogger allows you to customize what will actually be printed. So um, using this setup, you can indicate that with the warn, with the warn um, macro, that's something the warning, there's an error macro, an info macro. And then when you run it, you set rust log equals the level of log you want, cargo run. And that way it's only logging exactly the amount of data that you find you need. Um, so here we have an example of it in cargo.toml. Um, you'll see we loaded log and end logger. In main, the biggest change is that we have to initialize the logger before it's going to do anything. That actually reads the environment variable, figures out what you want to display. And we're going to make hello world a warning instead of a print. And the REPL appears to have reloaded my code, so this is going to take just a second. Um, I'll switch, while that runs, I'll just switch back to the slide. Here we go. Um, and the output is right there on the screen. Um, as you can see, it adds a nice timestamp for you, indicates that it's a warning. Uh, where it says my project, if you are running in nested crates because you have a large project, it will actually tell you which of the crates just issued the warning. And that can be extremely helpful um, if you have all your error messages filtering up through the result system. Um, and you get the output, hello world.